Did you guys ever hear the one where Little Red Riding Hood goes into the forest? But this time, she's read the fairy tale. So she brings a really, really big gun. <laughs> so she's headed to Grandma's. And what do you know? Big bad wolf grabs her. And he says, no, I got you. And I'm gonna screw you on and on. Yeah, he will. So Little Red pulls out her gun. She hikes up her skirt. And she says, no way. You're gonna eat me. Just like the fairy tale. Attention! Y'all having fun? Wolves! Huh? The elite. Best of the best. But here you are. You drunk. Fraternizing with civilians. And how about you, you pathetic piece of shit? You just let that woman take your weapon. We were just... We're just trying to relax, sir. <laughs> well, shit. I'm sorry. I would not want to get in the way of you trying to relax. And the pistol's not loaded, sir. Shit seems uh, loaded to me. Uh, what do you think? You think you belong in my wolves? You think you belong on my battlefield? Well, let's see. Holy shit, now we are talking. Now this is a base.
also I just realized if this is Walker's base which is the leader of the wolves why is this base not filled with wolves it's just um, fuck, uh, I think they're called sentinels or something like why why are these enemies sentinel and not wolves that makes no sense I believe that is all the humans. Now it's on to the big boy himself. Now, on to the big bad wolf himself. Please don't disappoint. No man! You know, part of me is glad you're still alive. It's too bad I'm gonna have to kill you. You could just give up! Hey, you know me better than that. I don't know you at all anymore. Uh. You want to do something for the world? Start here. Help these people. Something's thing you're doing. This thing I'm doing, I am doing for them. You're the asshole tearing apart these goddamn islands just trying to get a shot at me. No, man. It's not too late. You could join me. You know, to be honest, I would be more than happy to join. You killed my soldiers. And you made me kill my friend. Now you're making me kill mine. I would be more than happy to join the wolves. But, uh, you know, the game is not gonna allow me to do that, so... Great! Final boss fight. What the fuck? Okay. Ah, yes. Let's take a second to appreciate how fucking terrible the spawn points in this game is. Why would I spawn outside of the base on the other side of the water in the middle of the forest? Why not spawn back inside the boss area? It's like they didn't even try to place the spawn points properly. Ah, now I'm back in. Okay, well... Well, at least now he's spawned where he's supposed to spawn. Fuck. What even is this? Does he have drones? Wait, wait. Photo mode. Ah, oh, damn it, I can't... Okay. Uh, he has drones that work as a force shield. And why is there wolves inside here and not outside? Man, I need that good thumbnail. They do damage, that's uh, that's not
Fuck you, Walker. Da Fucking finally, Jesus Christ. Holy shit, I have things to say after this. part of Bolivia. Who's that? Eat my shit. <laughs> Only if you cuddle me after. Well, well, well. You must be nomad, Walker. Company man back there who you never saw, by the way. He, uh... He believes in this fantasy. It's called Wonderland, where people never fight. It's all rainbows and marshmallows and unicorns and shit, but... I guess we could talk about that another time. Yeah. Say, Nomad. It's good to see you. You too, man. You stay healthy. Always. <laughs> Okay, Jesus Christ, um, where do I start? Let's see, so I'm gonna go on a rant now about this game, I'm probably complaining about every single thing. Ooh, a new weapon. Uh, so if you don't want to listen to that, it's probably time to leave. But, holy shit. I just want to point out the fact that this, I mean... Okay, let's start with Wildlands. Uh, Ghost Trick and Wildlands, the final boss fight there was a cutscene where someone else killed him in the cutscene. It was definitely a worse final boss fight in this game because there was no boss fight, it was just a cutscene. And at least there was a boss fight this time around. But I have to say, not only does this game have one of the worst and most, like, basic boring shit stories I have ever seen but it also has one of the worst boss fights I've ever seen like they got John Berntal the goddamn Punisher to play the main villain of the game and they butchered the story like this like the setting the area the people all of that it has huge potential it it could have been one of the best Ubisoft games and one of the best like games of this style ever. I mean when you spend your entire budget on a triple A like big actor that everybody knows about. I mean it's rather obvious with this game that they didn't have any money left to spend on the actual game because they spent it on him instead. And he's a great actor. Every scene he was in in this uh, game was amazing. Even the, the fight scene that I showed in the beginning of this video was by far the best scene and uh, best thing about this whole game. It was amazing. 
Which leads me to the next point. Why in the hell did they make the boss fight the way that they did? Why why couldn't they like he had force shield robot drones over his head that would block every bullet and you had to shoot out the drones which could handle a reasonable amount of bullets unless you use a sniper rifle while a bunch of high level bullet sponges spawned all over this tiny room and he could one shot kill you so if you are trying to shoot the other wolves or you're trying to run away from them he's probably gonna be able to see you because he pushes you and then you're dead as you pretty much I am I'm pretty sure you understand my frustration with that because I don't know how many times I died for this straight up bullshit now I'm let's say let's say they made the boss fight like this like this is a way to make the boss fight better why have guns at all I mean this is supposed to be brother versus brother he's supposed to be like my army brother and whatnot why would there have to be guns involved we saw him fight fist to fist fist and it was amazing why couldn't the final boss fight have been fist fight or knife fight or something more personal and close up instead of fucking force shield drones one tap to the head when the drone is dead and then <sighs> I don't know this game is one of the most unfinished and broken games of 2019 uh, and the AI, don't get me started on the AI, like they showed the reveal trailer, the, the wolves are supposed to be good and hunt you down and all of that, it's all bullshit, it, the game is nothing like the reveal, and uh, I know Ubisoft isn't exactly known to have a good AI in the first place, but man, their AI, their AI legit devolved 10 years with this game. I, okay, basically I could spend hours and hours complaining about this game and talking about every single detail and why it's bad and how it could have been made better. But I'm not going to because I know that's not why you're here. It's annoying to listen to and uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But uh, I am going to say though, even though this game has pretty much not one good thing about it other than the voice acting and the potential. I will say, this game is fun and it's enjoyable because it's the only game of this uh, category, you know, open world, military, it's not even military, I mean, this motherfucker I'm playing, he falls down everywhere, he gets tired after sprinting 10 meters, he uses 5 seconds to reload a weapon that should take 1 second to reload, and blah blah blah, so on so on, it's enjoyable and it's fun. Uh, story wise no it's very basic I mean I feel like I just started the story and it's already over and it was not one single unique mission if you if you haven't bought this game I know I said I wouldn't complain more but just a quick sum up if you haven't bought this game or if you're thinking about it for the story or whatnot uh, well first off don't don't buy this game for the story second off it's basically well, when you're done with the intro, you, you have to find intel, that intel leads you to another place, you have to find more intel, that intel leads you to another place, you find more intel, you find the person you're looking for, you go to that place, you either kill the person, or you talk to the person, or rescue the person, and then you do that exact thing over and over and over and over again, and then you reach the final boss fight, and then the game is done. That's all the main missions. I haven't done any side missions yet. But they can't possibly be worse, so... Um, yeah, I'm not done making videos on this game yet. There's still things to do, it's a huge open world, I still enjoy playing it, I enjoy making videos of it. There's raids coming, there's a bunch of open world activities, you know, a bunch of bases I haven't taken out. Um, level up my character, you know, side missions maybe, nah, probably not, but... I'll do more videos, uh, so I'm gonna see if there's anything else worth worth seeing any cutscenes any anything at all I mean obviously the story isn't done yet it's gonna get updated they already showed that the general in command of uh, Walker and all of those is the true leader of this whole thing so uh, I'm gonna take a quick look if not then I'll say goodbye and uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this uh, die festival of uh, video Nomad to Air One. I'm plugged in.
Transmit that virus. Nomads Air One. Mission accomplished. I guess we're stuck here a little while longer, huh? Look at those birds. <laughs> Those aren't birds. That's fascinating. We didn't program that. Miles, just because you pay my bills, it don't make me your bitch. Well, I don't know how Scale took control of that sector, but it doesn't have it now. How's that? Well, you tell the big boss not to get his panties in a twist. Oh, well. I'm on the island. So with Walker gone, I guess that puts me in charge.